the most important thing about playing from the rough is actually reading the lie you have in the rough. Well, obviously, as you get more into the summer, the grass burns out, it goes a yellowy, uh, browny color. Well, that means it doesn't have very much resistance and the ball will come out actually quite quick out of it. If it's obviously lush green, it means there's plenty of moisture in it. It's gonna come out heavy. I would say to everybody, for every shot you take in the rough, always take a practice swing. So with my ball's there, I'm not gonna practice swing right near the ball and maybe move a foot away and I'll take a practice swing in similar length grass to get a feel for how much it's gonna snag the club. So always take that practice screen in a similar looking lie to get a feel for it. As you can see, the golf ball sitting on top of it looks like a good lie. The grass is growing that direction or lying down away from my target. So if I went to try and hit this, this is actually gonna come out heavy because if I try and hit it, I'm gonna catch all the grass before the ball and that's all gonna stand up. So now you can see that's actually quite a heavy lie. If that ball was sitting there, and even sitting as it is, but I'm just gonna get, so if it's sitting on the grass like so, grass is going that, I could actually hit a three wood going that direction. But going against that line of grass, I'd do well to hit an eight or a nine iron out of that lie from that position, and yet I could hit a three wood going the other direction. If it's pale, it means it's lying with you the ball will come out fast. And that's the same whether you're hitting a chip shot or a fairway shot. Oh, it's a beauty, absolutely magnificent shot, Corey Harrington. There's one more thought on this, okay? So the grass we've described here is growing that direction. If, as a right-hander, I'm hitting a right-handed shot this way and the grass is, coming, is growing that way, so as I hit this, this grass is gonna stand up this way, stand up towards me you're gonna snag the club in the hosel and you're gonna hit a hook. So make sure if the grass is growing away from you, take plenty of loft and be very wary of the ball going left. Clearly, if the grass was going this way, so again, it's still coming this way, and if I'm going that way, the grass will stand up that way. You'll push it, you won't hit a hook out or a lie like that, you'll push it slightly, it's not a huge push. The danger one is when the grass is, for a right-hander, when the grass is going away from, it's going to snag in that hosel and pull the club and the ball is going to come out low left when the grass is going away from you. So again, you'll discover that when you take a practice swing here, you'll see how heavy it would be pulling. So always take a practice swing, you know, 18 inches away from the ball in a similar lie and that will give you a good feel for it. Oh, and that is a really great second shot from where he was. No angle of the pin at all and he's judged the distance perfectly. Great play. It's going to come out heavy and a little dead out of this lie, so it's 100 yards. I'm probably going to add an extra 20, so 120 yard shot. Okay. Just like so. You can see you're never making a clean contact. You're always going to get grass between you and the face. And when the because of that, you don't have any grooves on it. The ball is going to run a bit further. A uh, heavy rough, the ball will land shorter and run further. A uh, wispy rough, the ball will actually carry further and run further. This will come out the exact same as that last one. There's really nothing to show here. I would notice this in a practice run. This rough here has dried out a bit. So I, I'm getting through that pretty easily. If there was more moisture there, I wouldn't be able to hit the ball half that distance. So again, loft is always your friend. So if you're in doubt, you know, an eight or a nine iron will get you down the fairway. It may go, may go much further than a five iron. I think that's all there is to the rough. That's nicely worked out from the Irishman, the two-time Open champion.